Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on uh, Poison uh, 202 from Gene Audio. So before I start, I have some uh, free code. So if you're interested, just send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. And in this video, um, the first one of the series, I'm going to go through the basic interface and uh, um, give you a taste of how the presets sound. So first thing to say is that um, it's really a great performing synth. It, really, it is really incredible in terms of the response that it has in the feels to the keyboard, which is really good. It works as a standalone version, which is what I'm showing here, so the, inter so the, the screen is bigger. Um, but it also works as a UV3 instance, so inside another um, host. <clears throat> so let's start to go through the interface. So you have two oscillators here. So let's go through the first one. Here's where you, can, you have settings for your pitch, for example. Here you can select different waves, okay? You have a super saw selection. You can, of course, change additional settings based on the waves, your detuning, your mixing, and your pulse width, and, and also the more pulse width modulation. You can balance, of course, between one or the other oscillator. You have settings for your pitch here further, and uh, it's, what is really, really good is that you can set your attack and decay here. This is where you have a section for your filter your usual settings for your cutoff resonance, okay, the type of filter, but you have also the envelope for the filter, which is really good, and you also keyboard tracking as well. And here you have your ADSR for the amplitude, and you also has a, a selection for cross-modulation and different settings in terms of synchronization as well. Uh, oscillator 2 works very much the similar way. Then we have the, the LFO and effects, and you have two LFOs here. You can see um, settings for rates, the fading, the type of waves associated with the LFO, where you want to redirect, uh, of course, the LFO um, <coughs> um, in terms of uh, modulation to the pitch, filter, or amplitude. Same for uh, uh, LFO2. In addition, you have a cross modulation dial there, which is really handy. You have also a um, sub noise section here. so which is really good. It's nice to have a sub um, um, oscillator, uh, which can go down by one octave or two. Then you have your noise mix here. And then at the right hand side, you have the effects then with um, different parameters that you can change. So as you can see, tons of effects, reverb, delay, chorus, distortion, etc., etc. You have a screen for patching or patching setup. This is where you set if you want uh, some of the um, envelopes to work in parallel or in series between the two different oscillators. You have additional settings here for a solo legato and portamento or slide. You can copy, rename and, and uh, delete patches. You have setting for your velocity as well, portamento bang range and patch gain. You can also change settings for your modulation wheel. And it's always useful to have also some settings on EQ. And finally, we have an output uh, um, part in the screens, which contains also uh, not only the output in terms of dial on the game, but also a limiter. Uh, below this, we have the keyboard here, as you can see, with a pitch wheel, a modulation wheel. We have a hold button to hold notes, but we can activate the arpeggio on the scale as well, which will change the scale on the screen. You have a right button to confirm, and this is where you have preset select, previous preset selection, the next preset selection, and here if you click, you have access to different banks and the forward preset. You have a button here for settings. If you go inside here, this is where you find general settings, for example, for your polyphony and voices, your audio setting, for example, for sample rates, your MIDI settings to connect to your MIDI devices, but you also have additional settings for your arpeggiators. So for example, here you can change the ARP mode, the ARP pattern, and so on. You have your keyboard settings. Interestingly, here is where you set your scale. For example, this type, the scale type is blue minor if you activate it, and then you have utilities where you can share your current preset, but also manage your user banks. Okay, so um, let's um, hear what it sounds like. Okay, let's go to another one. Really, really strong. Let's go to pulse with modulation lead. Let's 
let's uh, go for a portamento lead. Let's try a fifth synth. Okay, let's try a voltage lead. Vibrant lead. Okay, a power show. Really, really nice. Let's change bank. Let's go, for example, for a dino bass. Let's set this one, take my bass. Really, really deep. Um, and as you can see, there are lots and lots of um, presets. Um, Vader here. Yeah, it sounds like Star of um, Wars, two squares. A brass pad. Chord 80s. Nylon lead. And recently it had also some further extension. There is a bank F with uh, again additional uh, presets. Let's try something else again before we conclude. Interesting. So as you can hear, um, unlimited possibility in terms of the range of presets that these synth can produce. I hope you enjoyed, see you in the next video, bye.